Hey guys, I'm Chrissy's Fit. I'm a New Jersey personal trainer and I'm taking over Rec District. First of all, before we talk about the fupa, it's definitely something that is very normal, especially if you've had children or you know, you, you're, you're a little overweight. Even for people who are slim, sometimes you still have that lower core, that lower abdomen fat, and it's totally normal. But to help get rid of it, if you are overweight, um, dropping some weight first and foremost will help. Obviously, a lot of cardio, a lot of HIIT exercises, but you also will need to tone and tighten that because once you do lose the weight, then great, you know, your stomach is flatter, but then you may also have that loose skin. So in order to tighten that, we'll do like kettlebell um, crunches to tighten that. You can do hanging knee ups because you want to stretch and you also want to tighten and tone that core after you lose that weight. So um, again, the fupa is it's, it's a normal thing. I know a lot of us ladies, it's, it's just a stubborn thing. It's, even for me, as much as I work out, I still have um, that, that lower abdomen fat. I wear my high-waisted tights because, you know, I'm, I'm just not comfortable wearing certain things still, but it's very normal. So you just gotta keep working, 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 and it does take time, so you gotta be patient with the process and patient with yourself. This video is sponsored by Uphold Nutriment, the only place I trust to get my CMOS. Wow, I definitely think that's, that's, a, that's a very brave thing to say, first of all, um, but it, I, I definitely disagree with that. Especially in these times, um, we're in a new age where I think women, period, all races, all nationalities, um, enjoy working out and enjoy taking care of their body. But we also have to understand that as an African-American race, men and women, we've been behind. We've been behind. So when it comes to lifestyle and taking care of our bodies and our mental and physical health, you know, we, we didn't have that chance, we didn't have that choice, you know. So it's it's now now we have it, now we're you know, we're moving up, you know, and um, we're starting to uh, you know take over. Sorry, not sorry. Um, <laughs> so I think now we're taking care of ourselves more. So I think now more than ever. African American women are definitely taking care of themselves. They're in the gym. Um, we have our goals, and we're definitely, you know, setting the the standards and the bars high for ourselves with our, our health and our lifestyle, and definitely crushing it. So that statement right there, I think, is extremely false, and just, you know, just a very brave statement to make. And I disagree with it. So for our ladies who are getting surgery, um, the mommy makeovers, the tummy tucks, the BBLs, honestly, I, I have no issue with it. You know, at the end of the day, yes, we, you know, you want to come to the gym, you want to work hard because at the end of the day, even if you do get surgery, you need to keep it up, right? You get, you get your, uh, your fat taken out your stomach, lipo or whatever. Um, that's going to last but so long before you actually change and commit to a certain lifestyle of exercise. Um, the other thing is genetics. I want to look like, let's say, Nicki Minaj. My genetics is not, I will never look like Nicki Minaj no matter how much I'm in the gym, no matter how many days, no matter how many hours I put in the gym, I'll never look like that. So if that was my physical goal, then yes, I would need to get surgery. And I feel like you should do what makes you happy. If that's your physical goal, 
then go after it. I mean, I feel like as long as it doesn't take over your life and it doesn't become an obsessive thing where you're constantly going under the knife over and over and over, and also when you do go, that you make sure you maintain and keep it up, your diet, um, your exercise and working out, then I don't really see I don't really see an issue with it. I know it, back in the day it was just kind of like, it was like a hidden thing. Like if you got your body done, it's like nobody you can know. But now, like honestly, some of the top fitness influencers have their body done something, whether it was lipo, even if it's breast implants or, or um, you know, a little BBL or something. So, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it and I'm, I'm not against it.